Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make this beautiful crochet border. You can use this border for your baby blankets, kitchen aprons, cardigans, uh, tops, uh, crop tops, uh, everything. Um, everything you can imagine, you can use this beautiful crochet border. Especially for the blankets, it's beautiful. It is very easy, dear friends. Uh, now I will show you uh, very detail how we are going to make. Uh, my video is so detailed that even the new beginners can easily learn by watching my videos. Uh, now let's go on how I am uh, making them. I have this kind of crochet part. I will use this crochet part as the skirt of a crochet apron. I will also give you the link. You can go to that video and uh, you can see uh, how I am making this crochet apron. And regarding this border, regarding this border, we are starting from uh, one corner, dear friends. For example, here we are starting. I'm taking my mint color in my hand. Of course, you are free to choose whatever color you like. And I am starting from one corner. First of all, I am fixing, fixing the yarn like this. After fixing the yarn, I'm making um, four chains. I have already made one chain while fixing the yarn. One, two, three four after making four chains i am making this chain like this it should be flat dear friends sometimes two stitch sometimes uh, three stitch i will skip now i am looking at this one two stitch uh, i'm skipping i'm inserting my hook in the third stitch I am making four chain one, two, three, four. Again, I am doing like this one, two stitch skipping, inserting my hook in the third one. It should be flat, dear friends. One, two stitch skipping, inserting my hook in the third one, making a single stitch. And again, we are making four chains. One, two, three, four. Again, two stitch. I'm skipping, inserting my hook in the third stitch. Like this. One. We are, uh, we are counting the single stitches we made. This is one. This is two, three, and four. Okay. Four is, okay. What am I doing? I am turning my work back. I am turning it. One, two times. I am uh, yarn over, making yarn over, and going to the, not this one, going to the one in the middle. And two by two, I will make pull through. This is one. This is two. And this is three. Now I am making four chain. One, two, three, four. Two times yarn over I am making. I am inserting my hook in the same place. Two by two I will make pull through. This is one, this is two, this is three. Three times I made uh, pull through two by two. Again, two times yarn over, I am making, inserting my hook in the same place, and I am making three times two by two pull through. This is two, this is three. Now I am making four chain. One, two, three, four. After making four chains, I am making two times yarn over. Once again, two by two. Two times yarn over again, inserting my hook in the same place, like this. 
Now, one, two, three, four chains I am making three times yarn over, inserting my hook in the same place, making one, two, three, like this. And now I am finishing uh, this row. What am I doing? I am inserting my hook in the same place where I start making a single stitch. It's been like this, dear friends. What did we do? We did the first row of this one. What are we, what am I doing now? I am taking the yarn on my hook and I am turning my project again. I am turning my project. And now I will make seven times double crochet in this space. I made yarn over. This is one double crochet. This is second double crochet. This is third double crochet. It's been three, four, five, and six, and seven. What am I doing? I am inserting my hook in this place and making a single stitch. Let me show you. We finished this one. Now we are going to make this one and then this one and this flower will finish like this. Yarn over. I will make seven times double crochet. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five, six, seven. What we are doing now, we are inserting our hook in this space and making a single stitch. The second one finished as well, yarn over. Seven times double crochet we are making. If you notice, when we make this, we are not making any chains between any stitches. It's been two, three, four, five, six, seven. Inserting my hook in this space making a single stitch and inserting my hook in this space, making a slip stitch and closing this pattern. As you see, it's been beautiful, dear friends. We finished the first flower, dear friends. Now we are going to make the second flower. For this reason, I am making four chains. One, two, three, four, two stitch. I'm skipping, inserting my hook in the third stitch, making a single stitch. I'm making four chains. One, two, three, four. One, two stitch. I'm skipping, inserting my hook in the third stitch and making a single stitch in there. One, two, three, four. Two stitch, I'm skipping, inserting my hook in the third stitch. I am looking at the previous one. This is one, this is two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like this, we will make how many we made? One, two, three. We are starting counting from here, dear friends. This is one, this is two, this is three and we will make one more one two three four two stitch i am skipping i am inserting my hook in the third stitch 
like this. We made this one, this one, this one, and also this one. What we are going to do now, we will turn our project back because we are in the upper row. I'm making two times yarn over, inserting my hook, not the first one, to the following and making two by two pull through like this, pushing this to the other one. And now I'm making four chains, one, two, three, and four. Two times yarn over making, inserting my hook in the same place. One, two, three. Triple crochet I made. Two times yarn over I'm making, inserting my hook in the same place. Two by two, uh, I'm making another triple crochet by, ma uh, by making two by two pull through. Now I'm making one, two, three, four chains, two times yarn over, inserting my hook in the same place, making another triple crochet. Two times yarn over I'm making, making another triple crochet. Let me look one. It's been one, two. It should be three. For this reason, I'm making one, two, three, four chains. Two times yarn over, inserting my hook in the same place. Two by two, I'm making a triple crochet. After making one piece of triple crochet, I am inserting my hook in this stitch, making a single stitch, closing the first round of the flower. We are leaving here because otherwise it will not look uh, neatly. Now we are turning back. We are turning our project. This is the front side, dear friends. What we are going to do now, we are going to make double crochets in these spaces. Each space we are going to make seven double crochet. First of all, I am making two double crochet. This is one and this is two. After making two double crochet, I'm going to connect these two flowers to each other, otherwise it doesn't look neatly. I made two double crochet. I am also inserting at top of the second double crochet of the previous uh, flower. This is the first double crochet, this is the second. I insert my hook at top of the second one, taking the yarn on my hook also. Now I will make pull through. Now I connected these two uh, parts. Yarn over, I am going to the space that I made uh, two double crochet already. I will go on completing double crochets up to seven. This is three double crochet. This is four, five, six, and seven. It is the same whatever we did here in the first flower. The only thing you should be careful is after making two double crochet at the first space, uh, you are connecting uh, this part with the previous flower uh, at the second uh, double crochet. That's all. All the others are the same. We made seven double crochet in here. What am I doing now? Inserting my hook in this uh, stitch between this triple double crochet, making a single stitch. Yarn over, I'm going to the following space, making seven double crochet in there as well. This is one, this is two, three, One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I am inserting my hook in this 
uh, between this uh, triple crochet making a single stitch I am making yarn over inserting my hook in this space making seven more double crochet in there this is one this is two this is three this is four five six seven I am inserting my hook between this triple crochet you see we finished the second one as well it's been like this what am I doing now I am inserting my hook in this stitch making a single stitch and I'm totally finishing the second flower as well now I will make the last one with you you can go on yourself uh, you can complete your crochet with this border applying the same uh, thing I explained to you one two three four chains I am making we are skipping two stitches inserting our hook in the third stitch making a single stitch one two three and four two stitch skipping inserting my hook in the third stitch making a single stitch one two three and four skipping two stitch inserting my hook in the third stitch one two three four skipping two stitch inserting our hook in the third stitch it should be four single stitches we are starting counting here this is one two three four that's all what we are doing we are turning our project back two times yarn over we are making we are skipping the first space going to the other and triple crochet we are making what we are doing this two by two we are making pull through this is one this is two this is three for this reason we are calling this as triple crochet it's been like this now I am making four chain one two three and four two times yarn over I am making making another triple crochet like this two times yarn over I am making inserting my hook in the same space two times yarn uh, I'm sorry four chains we are making one two three four two times yarn over we are making inserting our hook in the same space we are making a triple crochet two times yarn over making inserting our hook in the same space making another triple crochet we made one space and second space we should make the third space for this reason we are making one two three four chains two times yarn over and inserting our hook in the same space this is one this is two and this is three now I'm not uh, doing the second triple crochet why because I will insert my hook in here I will make a single stitch and I will consider this uh, uh, four chains as the second triple crochet of this part now one two three space we made it is okay what we are doing turning the other side of the project I mean this is the front side we are turning the back, uh, other side and this is the front side look this is the back side it doesn't look uh, so nice at the back side as you see for this reason when we make double crochets on the peaks uh, you should be you should uh, stay always uh, on the front side 
if you see you are not on the front side for example you are on the back side that means you made uh, you made a mistake at somewhere for this reason be careful when you start uh, making double crochets you should be in the front side of your project dear friends okay what we are doing we are making two double crochet firstly one two after making two double crochets i am taking the yarn off my hook i am going to the uh, uh, second double crochet of the previous full flower this is double crochet one and this is two i am inserting my hook uh, at the top stitch of the uh, second double crochet and i am taking the hook on my taking the yarn on my hook pull through and yarn over i will go on completing seven double crochet in the first space what we did now we connected these two flowers to each other i have already made two double crochet before and now i made the third double crochet four five six and seven i am inserting my hook between these uh, triple crochet making a single stitch yarn over i'm inserting my hook in the middle space and i will make uh, seven double crochet in this place as well this is three this is four five six and seven i am inserting my hook between these uh, triple crochets making a single stitch it's been like this dear friends now i will make seven double crochet also in the third space this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five six and seven i am inserting my hook between these triple crochet making a single stitch also i am inserting my hook in this stitch and making a single stitch and closing finishing the third flower as well yes dear friends as you see it's been like this it's been so beautiful i explained very detailed even uh, the very beginners can easily understand what i am doing like this dear friends you are completing your crochet projects this uh, project will be my this project will be a crochet apron so i will uh, make this uh, side also this side the below part and also this one i will make three sides of my project with these borders but of course if you are going to make for example a baby blanket you should complete you should cover four sides of uh, your crochet project that's uh, completely what you are doing whatever your project is okay dear friends I will complete uh, my project and I will show you. Yes, dear friends, as you see in the video, I finished uh, crocheting the three sides of my uh, project uh, with this beautiful border. Is as you see, it's been very beautiful. I will show you closely one moment, like this. You see. The pattern is the border pattern is really very beautiful you can use this pattern for baby blankets for armchair shawls tv blankets your uh, crochet summer tops everything you can imagine you can use this pattern i really love this i will also use in different uh, projects this is my uh, crochet apron project Please visit my video about uh, this crochet uh, kitchen apron. You will also like this a lot. Yes, dear friends, 
Today we came to the end of another project video. Our project was about how to make this beautiful crochet border. I hope you also love this border. I really liked it a lot. Uh, meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info ring, please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos. I need your sports in order I can go on sharing this kind of beautiful crochet uh, tutorials for you, dear friends. Thank you so much. See you in the coming videos.